Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. We are down at Bud's place today. And actually, oh, you can't see Sandy's place from here. I was say Sandy's new building is right over there, but right here, um, we got Bud's stuff. So he has five tanks all together. So he has these three, there's one there, uh, and these two. He painted those, he painted the other two back here. We'll go back there and we'll look at all that in a second. But he was focusing on rain catchment. And so he's gonna be heading home tomorrow. But uh, so I'm gonna have him explain uh, everything that he has done. So go ahead and I'll let you start talking and I'll just kind of show stuff. All right, so got the gutters up. <coughs> yep. Or at least on this side here. And I put a uh, gutter guard up there going all the full length. Okay. That way there to help get rid of a bunch of the uh, the leaves and stuff because there's already leaves building up in there. Sure. Before I got them on. And then it drains down over there and then it goes to a leaf filter. And then it gets rid of any bulk junk that may be in there. Right. And then it goes to a first flush, which is going to get rid of it. I don't know if it's going to show up good on camera or not, but you can see a fine layer of dust and pollen up there. So when it rains, all that stuff is going to get flushed right out. For right, it, sure. Before any of the water goes into the tank. And then that's a 330-gallon coat over there. Right. Here, I'm going to show. I'm going to. I'm going to show the bugs around your head, and they're around my head too, yeah. folks. So I mean, they're ridiculous. Yep. Okay, go and ahead. It's going to drain into the 330-gallon uh, tank over there, and there's two filters on top of that. So what he has here, guys, he's got like the, the, the gutter guard on here first, and it comes down to this first flush. So that's going to get rid of some of the stuff there. Then the water comes down to the bottom here. This has a, a drainage thing on here as well. But this has a ball in here that will fill up to this point. And then, then the water will go from there, flow in. He's got two screens here on the tank. So he's got a, a screen on the bottom and then another screen here on the very top of the tank. Okay, so when that water, he's just got to connect that. And then this one will start filling. Now I'm going to come around um, so you can see how he has these set up. <coughs> Miss Hell is helping with the, the wood. All right, so uh, so he's got these tanks set up higher, so he has access to the water this way as well. And uh, it's probably better to have that off. Yeah, <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, so he built these up, put that tank here. He's got the second tank over here, and he's got oh my, these bugs are ridiculous. Yep. Um, He's got the second tank over here, and with this tank, he's got a, a hot water on demand unit set up to be able to take a hot shower. He plans on uh, putting a shower uh, unit in over here, but uh, for right now, that's better than uh, not being able to shower at all. It's nice to rinse off after a hot day. Yes. Get the dust and dirt off you. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So, but... Um, yeah, so he's got that set up there. We've got the propane and uh, the battery to run it. And um, he was showing me yesterday. And so very, very nice. Um, low flow shower head so you're not like killing all your water. And uh, he can take a nice shower back here. And so that's a good thing. Um, he's going to be getting, he's working on the other gutter right now. Are you going to get that up before you leave? Uh, I'd like to. Okay. But I don't know if I'm going to have it tied in, but... I already got 300 gallons of water in that tank. Right. Yeah, he had brought water down, so this, this particular tank is already full. Um, the other tanks, so explain to everybody what you're going to do with the other three uh, tanks. Two of the other tanks, I'm going to uh, put some gravel there, level that off, and then I'm going to put uh, concrete black on it, just like I did over here. Okay. And then that way there to get the first tank up off the ground, and then I'll put a second tank on top of that. And how I plan on filling it is one of the caps I have has a uh, bung hole in the center of it. So okay. You can just take that out, screw in a piece of PVC pipe with an elbow on it, run it out underneath um, the top tank, and then have a cap on it so that I can fill it up with water that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then that way there, I'll have two 275-gallon tanks sitting right there that can be fl uh, filled. Right. And then the other one I'll probably just put over here behind the tree. Right. Okay. You have plenty of water that way yep. once everything is filled. 
And then you do have a, he has a transfer pump, guys. That how many gallons in a minute? Uh, 200 gallons an hour. An hour, okay. All right, so, um, you know, he can uh, set his other tanks, run a hose, run them into the tank, and he can transfer. Like if this, let's say, what, he's going to have this completely set up today. So let's say he comes down here the next time, and this one is full. Well, he can transfer some water into this one, or he can have, you know, if he has the other tank sitting back over here, he can put water in that tank. So, good start um, on the tanks. It's, uh, like I said, it's one of the priorities that we're trying to get going. And so, with him getting his system set up, you know, he'll have access to well over, well, you figure four tanks is 11, 000, or 1,100 gallons. Yeah. And then another 275 is, uh, you know. I'll have 1,500 gallons. About 15, okay. When I get these three done. Plus, I got three five-gallon carboys in the shed that's got a lot of water in it, too. Oh, okay. So, then I want to do a couple more 330s, um, and then it'll give me over 2,000 gallons. Nothing wrong with that. And it'll take a while to get them all filled, but, you know, when you're coming down once a month, and you're not using it all the time, that's a good thing. It'll have, we'll have time um, to get them filled up, and uh, so that's a good thing. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, guys, it is a process. It does not happen overnight, and I think that's one of the misconceptions that people think that everything is instantaneous, and it's just not. It takes a lot of hard work um, and a lot of effort, and uh, but it's worth it in the end. When when you're like like I said, just setting that up and having a hot shower, uh, that makes life a lot easier. At the end of the day, you don't feel so grimy um, when you go to bed if you you're able to take that good hot shower. So, what are you doing over here, Miss? Yeah, she's helping to dig. Oh, she got a rock. She's so funny. Anyway, folks, overcast today. It was supposed to not be overcast. It was supposed to be sunny. But, um... She's an absolute nut, this dog is. Oh, these freaking bugs right in my oh. eyes. I hate that. Guys, I'm going to show you just uh, how bad these are. I mean, they're just, so now they're, hold on, they're out by the camera. <laughs> but they're all over the place. You can see them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. I think they're attracted to the camera more than, well, they're all over my head, yeah, too. Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah. Um, also, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one stopping you from achieving your goals is going to be you. That's it. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One.